Welcome back, I'm Harrison. Today we're doing an illustration style video. Now, here's what you need to know about this video, this illustration. This wasn't just uh, like all the other illustrations where I'm doing just what I wanna do, how I wanna do it, uh, and for the sake of either practice or these videos. This illustration was my first commission in this kind of aesthetic that you've been seeing me do in these videos. Now. That means something to me, whether that means uh, more disappointment, uh, a long period of time before the next commission. Um, regardless, it just means that somebody out there uh, wanted to spend life tokens on the value that I bring in this aesthetic that I'm trying to grow. You know, uh, life tokens, money, whatever you want to call it. But either way, it means that I'm special. Um, so we're going to get into this illustration and you'll notice here, though the theme of this channel is that uh, we're not striving for perfection, we're just striving for growth in my artsy-ness. Um, this video is going to be a little bit longer maybe, or at the very least the time lapse is going to be sped up a little bit because I spent an extra amount of time uh, making things less imperfect for this commission. So let's hop into the time lapse. Okay, getting started, just picking my color, usually going with the dark because I'm a moody, artsy boy, and so I usually like a dark, dark background. It, it matches my the state of my soul, so, you know, nothing new here, getting a dark background laid out, and uh, starting to very quickly draw and sketch out each kind of leaf, you know, I, I not too precious or concerned about the structure of all of this, really just trying to get something on there to revise after the fact. You know, as I start filling it in, I start noticing some inconsistencies, and at that point, I'm cool with just going and tweaking a little bit, but it's really hard to just look at an outline and for me at least, see that it's structurally good or bad or whatever. So I like filling it in a little bit and then being able to see the shapes as actual shapes instead of outlines of shapes. Uh, that helps me structurally know how off the mark I am. So you'll see me start going into each leaf and tweaking it a little bit, you know, adding, subtracting, you know, structurally, I, I, I'm, I'm just as much working on this structure as I am um, filling it in and getting a still a very rough level of polish. But let's just uh, keep watching this little flower come to life. It's, it's trying to stand on its own and, and have two legs and uh, look like a flower. It's still kind of not a flower. It seems like a series of bananas almost, but uh, it will in time look like a flower. We just got to nurture it, if you will. So let's just relax and watch this thing come to life as it goes from bananas to flowers. Okay, I now have my rough shape pretty much laid out. It is definitely a uh, flower looking at the moment and what we're about to enter into is the what's known as the trenches in my illustration practice it is where i'm doing that mid-tier level of polish and it's where i spend the most amount of time because sometimes especially for this flower this little commission piece the distance between the rough shape to the finished polished flower is uh the, the most amount of distance that I have to travel for this little piece. So as you'll see here, it, it, it's a lot of working it out. And so, you know, for me, I'm not too concerned with getting it perfect, getting it right off the bat because I can just revise, add more layers. It's a iterative process, if you will. So what you're seeing here me is just like pushing and pulling, trying, does that look good? Does it look bad? And then just moving on to the next piece and not being too consumed with just one section, but trying to make this flower come to life as a whole, as opposed to just being too concentrated on a single leaf. I mean, you know how it is. I tend to be a little tunnel vision. And so uh, to compensate that, we're focusing on the whole piece. But as you see here, it is, it is a lot. It is a lot to make sure it goes right because 
we've got a good handful of leaves to pay attention to and they're going in different directions and there there is distance and depth involved with this piece and i want it to go from that flat looking rough draft to something that is much 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 more believable as a flower especially since this is for a commission Okay, here's the fun bit of the whole piece. You know, only second to lines and fun factor, but this is where I'm adding a third dimension to this lovely little commission piece of flora. It's where I'm adding some dots on the surface to give some texture to the leaves. You know, you know, leaves are very detailed. They have a lot going on with them. So adding some dots is very helpful, but Right now, I'm moving on to adding these buds in. As I've done historically, I save this aspect of any flower uh, for the last little final stint uh, before I move on to the lines, mostly because if I'm adding these in at the beginning, it can make the piece look a little bit more flat and every little piece of the flower that is behind these little buds uh, are gonna look flat and it's really hard to work around them when they're in the way and it, it just doesn't look as good as real as when you save something like this for the very very end as we've done here um, we did a lot of work in the background of this flower and so you know it'd be even harder to do that with these things in the way so adding them in at the end doesn't need a whole lot of effort it's pretty easy to make these things look nice when you've invested so many hours minutes who knows how long into making the rest of the flower look good it's kind of like your dessert after eating a whole dinner of broccoli kind of thing and so pretty happy with the way this looks very proud of this little commission piece and uh, here in a second we're about to move on from my second favorite part to my most favorite part being the lines Okay, my favorite part of the whole piece, the line work. This is where we go from just, oh yeah, that's a pretty flower, to like, oh, that's a flower, and then something a little bit extra. And you know, this is the love-hate portion of all of my pieces, you know what I mean? I, I There's seriously rarely a, a time where people either are indifferent to the lines, I don't know, they, I feel like this is where people either drop off when it comes to uh, appreciating my little art experiments or they they lean into it who knows for me i just love it because it goes from just being you know that's a pretty flower that can be seen anywhere in uh, cracker barrel to something that is more expressive you know and uh if i'm already doing art artsy videos on youtube what's the point of doing all that if you can't be uh, a tad bit expressive that's the i mean what's what's breathing on earth if you can't just express yourself here now and then so for these lines uh sometimes i do asymmetrical lines for this piece i tried something a little bit more mirrored a little bit more symmetrical uh it is on the left as it is on the right and i think for this flower i think that works because you've got so many leaves going out in different directions but you know I, I, i'm indifferent towards the symmetry it can be good it can be bad but either way it is done I'm pretty happy with how this little illustration turned out. As we mentioned before, I, I spent a little bit of extra time, a little extra care, and little bits of love injected into this illustration, mostly because, again, this isn't just for the video or just for my practice. This is for a special somebody who thinks I'm special. So that's good enough for me, and I am happy that you joined me on this weird journey of uh, being insecure, meet, met with like securities of like, hey, you know, maybe I'm an artist now, who knows? But either way, I'm happy with what we have and I will see you in the next video.